Hello and welcome to another video for Midas Touch Toys Games Collectibles. And today we are looking at something that's very old, very rare and very, very exciting. We are looking at the 1966 release by Chad Valley from their Jerry Anderson series of Give a Show projectors. And this particular one we are looking at today is from the highly popular Jerry Anderson series of Thunderbirds. Now, Thunderbirds was a puppet show, obviously, that I'm sure you all know. Um, it was all based on a group of people called International Rescue, uh, and they were based on Tracy Island in the middle of the Pacific. And they would, well, there was an International Rescue team. So if they got a call from anywhere, anyone, uh, they would immediately go out and help assist in rescuing the people that are in danger. Um, there was a total of 32 episodes produced uh, over two seasons and they aired in the UK from the 30th of September 1965 through to the 25th of December 1966 um, and they were about 45-50 minutes per episode um, and unfortunately uh, the Series 3 wasn't given the green light because the American Bakaloo grade failed to sell um, another season to the American networks. Um, so he came back and said it's far easier to produce another television series um, and sell a new series rather than um, a, another series of an existing TV show. So Thunderbirds didn't go ahead with the third season um, and then Captain Scarlet was born. Uh, but that's another story. Okay, anyway, so we're looking at the uh, 1966 Chad Valley Give a Show projector on Thunderbirds. And this is the box that it comes in. So on the right hand side, you can see all the traces. So you've got Scott, who was pilot of Thunderbird 1. Virgil, pilot of Thunderbird 2. Alan, pilot of Thunderbird 3. Gordon, who was the... Uh, aqua pilot of Thunderbird 4, John who was the space monitor in Thunderbird 5 and Jeff Tracy who was the father of the five boys. And there you can see images of all Thunderbird machines so you've got uh, Thunderbird 1, Thunderbird 2, Thunderbird 3, Thunderbird 4, Thunderbird 5 and you've also got uh, Fab 1 at the bottom there with Parker driving and just next to Fab 1 you've got an image of her ladyship, Lady Penelope, who was the British agent for Thunderbird, for International Rescue. And it says Thunderbirds 54321, Thunderbirds are go. And it says Chad Valley, give it, uh, where is that, somewhere in England, I can't quite make it, what it says. Harborn, England, wherever that is. It says, give a show projector. Uh, patent number 924625. 112 colour slides. 16 complete stories. Based on Jerry Anderson's exciting TV series. And projects colour pictures up to five foot. Square on wall or ceiling. Okay, it says, battery operated, made in England. Okay, so that is the front of the box. Now, with all these boxes of the day, the back of the box is probably, yep, the back is completely blank, so you won't any, spend any time looking at that. Um, but let's just zoom out a little bit. And there you can see the end of the, or the side of the box, I should say. And you've got images of the slides, and it says Thunderbirds, give a show projector. You see Thunderbirds 1's taken off, and again, there's some more images there. If I turn the box to the end, um, again, we we'll zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole box. You've got Thunderbirds there and you've got Thunderbird 3 and Thunderbird 5. Give a show projector and it's G347R. And if we turn the box back round to the other side, we've got the same again on this side. Three strips, Thunderbirds, image of Thunderbird 4, projector and three slides on the other side. And back on this side... You've got Thunderbirds and an image of Thunderbird 2, projector G347R. Okay, so that is the box that the game or the, the projector set comes in. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open the box. We're going to have a look at the contents 
and we're going to see if the item's still working after what is that 50 58 years okay let's have a look okay so before i take the projector out i just opened the box and i just wanted to show you the contents of the box before i removed everything so you've got the projector which sits in the middle of the inner packaging and it's the original projector which is blue with a red uh, end on it and you've got red um uh, plastic bolts there which hold the batteries in position uh you've got all the slides um so there is i think it was what did it say on the box there was 112 color slides and 16 complete stories um so there's obviously 16 slides you've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen slides uh that came in in the set and they're all thunderbirds now with this set there, we, there is a little bit of a bonus because you can see down there we've got four additional slides uh, and they are again from Jerry Anderson TV shows. Uh, so what have we got? So this one, the top one is from Fireball XL5 and it's called Saves the Moon. The second one is from Stingray and it's Titan's Hypno Day. The third one is from Supercar and it's got Tree on the Line. And the last one is from Stingray again, and it's Marina's Revenge. So that's four additional slides that are available with this particular set. Um, and that's simply because when we acquired the set, these additional slides were with it. So they're staying with it as a set. I'm not going to break them up and do them uh, individually. They're going to stay as a set. And so this whole set um, will go out with the four additional slides. Okay, so that is the contents. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the contents out, I'm gonna set the projector up, and let's see if the projector works um, after, like I say, um, 58 years. So I've removed the projector from the, projector from the box, uh, and this is it in front of us, um, and you can see it's got Give a Show projector on there, it's got Chab Valley details at the bottom, um, molded into the plastic um, and I think it's the same yeah it's got a give a show projector again on the other side um, and there is some thing on there which I can't quite read oh it says to focus move lens ring in or out there you go um, much easier zooming in on the camera to see what the wording is okay so to change the batteries you pop out the screws or the, or the bolts they just pop out like this and they come out and the whole back lifts off, um, which I won't take off at the moment, uh, but the whole back lifts off um, and the batteries slide in. Um, in fact, let me show you that right now so that we um, we don't have to do it again in a little bit. So I have actually already inserted the batteries in here, but let's do it again. So we've got our three batteries, as you can see. So I've got these Duracell ones and these are the 1.5 volts, I think they are. Um, and they just slot into the box that way. And you can see you've got the bulb at the end there. And then the the cover just, again, just pops onto the back there. And you pop the screws or the bolts in, the plastic bolts in, to keep the projector um, in position. Okay, the proof of the pudding's in the eating. Let's see if it turns on. And we have separation. Light we have before us. Okie dokie. So the projector works. So 68 years on and we have a working projector. Well, let's put a slide in it. So I'm, as I've got the Stingray slide out, I'm going to start with this particular slide. And it says show from other side. And it says start here. See that? It says start here. So I'm going to pop that in the projector. And let's, excuse me, let's try that again. Am I going, I'm not sure if I'm going the right way on in here. Let's try again. There we are. So we are going 
the right way. So, yep, so we can focus on here. There we go. So I'm just going to zoom the camera in onto the the screen um, so you can see the actual story. Um, which is, I think, a better thing to do than just watching me do it. So it says, look, Titan's mechanical fish. Too bad we're out of sting missiles, Troy. Marina, where's she going? She's been inside the mechanical fish. How did you manage that little job, Marina? We'll never know, phones. She can't speak. I, the great Titan, will get Stingray for this. There we are. So you can see the colours are vibrant. It's brilliant. It's wonderful um, projector. And obviously you can move it back um, and have a larger um, area that you can see uh, if you wanted to. Um, I'm just going to now pop in the Fireball XL5 slide. Um, and let's see how we get on. Oops, maybe I should go the other way. Um, because these slides are a little bit bent, they don't always, oh, I'm upside down. They don't always go through the right way. So here we go, so it's start here. So this is the, so because they're the, the, the age of them, they won't always go all the way through. So you've got to sometimes put, put them um, the other end. So let me find out which way this starts. Here we go, so this one starts here and that says here all systems maybe i should raise this up a little bit if you can see it would it be better raised let's just pop something underneath it um and then you can perhaps see the whole of the the story so it says all systems go here we can track that giant meteorite before it hits the moon yeah, not quite, you're not quite seeing all of this, are you? There we go. Maybe I should zoom out just a fraction. There we are. So it says, before it hits the moon. And then it says, I have spotted it, Steve. Steer 2840 green. On course, preparing missiles. Steve files missiles at Giant Meteorite. Steve has saved the moon from destruction. There we go. That is the Fireball XL5 slide. Okay. Should we grab a Thunderbirds one? Let's grab a Thunderbirds one. Um, show from the other side. And start here. Okay, so let's pop the Thunderbird one in. And let's see if we can... Do we need to focus this a little bit better? There we go. So, this is one of the Thunderbird slides. And it says, Father... Manned satellite Astra has overshot orbit nine. It's in danger of drifting into space. Sending Thunderbird three, John Brains thinks Alan can save her. Alan, take canister E from section marked F5R. Replace this with the radio wave control. This will attract Astra from the outer orbit. It works, Brains. Astra's being drawn. There we go. So, what can I, more can I say about this? It is fantastic. It is fully working, and it is just awesome. Um, if you haven't had one of these in your life, it's such a nice thing to have. Great stories, even though they're very short. But they're great stories, uh, and a lot of fun to read through. Um, I can remember watching these my dad taking me through these when i was a kid and i loved every second of it when i was a little boy just such a phenomenal set the the, uh, the whole um give a show projector was just a great great idea and it was so big for chad valley back in the the day when they first and, and they, don't forget they done loads and loads of different ones there was quite a lot of tv themed ones as well um, so uh, there was uh, on the Jerry Anderson ones, you had um, Thunderbirds, you had Stingray. I can't remember if there was any other ones. Um, I don't know if there was a Captain Scarlet one or a Fireball. I can't remember. Uh, there, well, maybe there was because the slides are there. 
uh, or maybe there wasn't a whole set and maybe they just released slides i don't know but obviously you were once you had a, had the projector you didn't need to have the whole set again so they also produced loads of individual slides uh that you bought um and added to your set um now some of them came in boxes some of them came came on card um and there was lots and lots of different slides that you could um add on to your um, projector set and watch as many of these uh, as you wanted to and there was copies of these as well I can remember there was a six million dollar man that was also one that was also done I think I think we've got one in stock um, but um, but yeah there was lots of them that were done but Chad Valley was the initial um, a company that produced these uh, slide projectors, the give a show projectors. Uh, there was also one of these swing along projectors as well that you could take anywhere that you swung about and so on. And there's also ones where you could color in and make your own slides. Um, so there's lots of variants and lots of other companies got onto the bag bandwagon because Chad Valley was having such a wonderful time with this and selling thousands and thousands of these um, sets. So Back in the day, they'd done phenomenally well. Um, as I say, it wasn't just the sets that sold, but also the, the slide sets as well, uh, which came separate to the to the big sets. Obviously, the box sets were the most expensive, and then you could pick the slides up, uh, going to your normal... Even your news agents would stock these, and you'd go into the news agents, and they would have slides on hanging from their um, centre um, uh, shelves, and uh, they were on the hooks and you turn turn the shelf around it's one of those spinning shelves and you could pick up all your slides that you wanted to add to your chad valley set um so yeah wonderful wonderful toy um and like i say sold exceptionally well obviously once the um dvds and videos started to come out or video recorders i should say really because that was when uh, a lot of the old toys that we used to have as kids really became obsolete, um, like your view masters, these projectors, um, those kind of things. They all, all, all tended to see a massive decline once we all have video recorders and we could get the episodes on videos and we could watch them whenever we wanted to. So that really brought about the end of this particular type of toy. Um, I don't know if there's any still being produced. Maybe. Um, I don't know, or maybe they're doing slightly different versions because there was some that were done um, just hand ones and, and you clicked them, or there was, there was some that was just a wind. Um, you had a cartridge you put in and you wound it and looked through the, the slot to see your TV show. Um, it was more like a video rather than a, a slide projector, those were they? But maybe, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know if there's any still being produced. If anyone does, please message me and let me know. Um, I'll be very interested to find out if they are still making, um, or if any company is still making these slide projector sets. Um, but these old ones, 1966, this particular one, does it come up very often on the platforms? No, not at all. It does come up from time to time, I would say. Certainly not often. Um, and you may have a struggle to find one that's actually in working condition. Look, this one's in beautiful working condition. Um, some of them are very temperamental. Obviously, they're quite old now. Um, they're quite temperamental when the when you try and turn the projectors on. Uh, bulbs are gone, and you've got to muck around with the 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 electric um, joints inside to make sure you've got a, a full steady connection. Um, otherwise, you know you, you're not going to get the uh, projector to work also you find that a lot of them have got blemishes on the uh, lens so it's not altogether the picture's not altogether clear unlike this one we're looking at here it's very very clear um, and focuses beautifully um, so like I say um, they do come up from time to time on the platforms but be careful I always say this to you look at the images of the item that's being sold because if you just look at the main page, you may not be looking at what you're actually going to order. So if you are buying on platforms, click on the images of the item that's actually being sold and have a look at it. Because someone's interpretation of very good quality could be someone else's interpretation of average or below average. So just bear that in mind if you're ordering on the platforms. However, 
We at Midas Touch have managed to find a few of these projector sets and they are currently available to purchase on the Midas Touch website, which you can get to quite simply by clicking the link below. It will take you straight to the website where you'll be able to find this and many other vintage Jerry Anderson items and many other vintage toys, games and collectibles come to that. There's over 10,000 products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website. There will be something for everybody. And I am absolutely positive that this is something you won't want to miss because we literally have thousands and thousands of new up products which we are shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis. So if there's something in particular you are looking for, something old you've never been able to find, something quirky that you might want to buy for a friend, or just something from your childhood that you'd like to own again to help you recuperate those long lost childhood memories. Well, stay tuned, keep watching, because you never know the next item we upload could be that item you've been looking for. Okay, that is it from me on this particular item. I do hope you've enjoyed reviewing and testing this wonderful Chad Valley projector with me. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again next video. So bye for now.